The story of Abraham, peace be upon him, leaving his family behind in a barren desert valley. Since prophet Abraham and his wife Sarah, peace be upon them, could not bear any children, Sarah asked her husband to marry their servant so they could beget a child before they were too old to raise offspring. Later, prophet Abraham was commanded by God to take both his second wife, Hagar, and their son, Ishmael, and leave them in a barren desert valley. As soon as prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, started to leave, Hagar cried out, Where are you going? Why are you leaving us? Abraham did not respond. After a few more attempts to find answers, Hagar then asked if this action was a commandment from God. He responded, Yes. Then she replied, If God commanded you to leave us, then leave us, because God will never leave us to perish. She was sure that God would not abandon her and her child, despite being in the middle of the desert valley. He left them with little water and some dates. Later, Hagar ran out of food and water and started to worry about her child. She climbed a hill called Mount Safa, crying out, Is anyone there? Then she ran to another hill called Mount Marwa, again crying out, Is anyone there? Then she paced back and forth to each hill seven times. On the seventh round, Hajar saw Angel Gabriel descend from the sky and strike the ground with his wing, causing water to gush upward from the earth. Angel Gabriel declared, Zam! Zam! meaning stop, stop, commanding the water to stop. This water is now referred to as Zamzam water. This well to this today nourishes pilgrims of Mecca every day. Hagar and her child were then rescued. Years later, when Ismail was growing to become a man, his father, Prophet Abraham, returned and built with him the house in Mecca, called the Kaaba.